as you look around in the classroom, you'll see uh, uh, lists all over the place. And those lists are just basically the words and the phrases that you need to become familiar with. So no one's expecting you guys to know how to speak French, you know, or to know all of this stuff right away. But as we go through the Telefrancais, uh, it's just like living on the ship. You're going to become more and more familiar with all the things that you need to know. So just relax enjoy it do 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 your homework like if you didn't do the telefrancais uh, if you didn't see the video that's really unfortunate because that's a really important part of you becoming familiar with all the things that we're gonna learn okay so were there any uh, prayer requests from you guys today um for my grandpa he's having surgery okay so that's Lydia for my aunt who has a tumor uh, um, uh, so. this is Tobias, um, uh, one of my f friends, um, uh, his dad just died. Uh, oh, that's, that's really sad. Emma's aunt? And I um, hope that my aunt gets hit with cancer soon. Oh, boy. My best friend Addison's, her mom is, she had her appendix taken out, she's had three surgeries. Okay, and who is that? Eve. And then my family this Christmas. My aunt just died, so this is our first Christmas without her. This oh. is Amabel. Amabel, okay. Okay, well, the boy, we've got quite a list here to pray for, so that's great. Well, let's, let's do that very quickly. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful group of kids and the opportunity for us to meet like this. We thank you that we can also lift up our needs and our concerns to you in prayer. And we just remember now, as we look at the board, remember that we've got uh, Lydia's grandpa uh, that is uh, needing some prayer. Emma's aunt with her tumor. Tobias, his friend. Uh, that would be awfully hard to have lost a father. And we just pray that he'll be encouraged and, and that he'll have other men that will come alongside of him and mentor him as well. Uh, Eve's friend, uh, who is bound to be very concerned about her mom, we just lift her up, and Emma Bell and her family, uh, missing their aunt. We thank you for these tender hearts that we have here, and we pray that, that they will see your, your guiding hand and your healing hand, and uh, they'll see the, the, the wisdom in uh, things as they unfold. In Jesus' precious name, we ask these things. Amen. Amen. Isn't it, wonderful to, isn't it wonderful to have a God who cares yeah. cares about us? All right, I see that Nika and Declan are here, so uh, just very quickly. Bonjour, Nika. Comment ça va? Ça va. Would be fine. Ça va. But you do need to know ça va bon, ça va mal, comme ci, comme ça. Okay. Okay, and uh, when I'm asking comment ça va, I'm asking how's it going. And when I say aujourd'hui, we're talking about today, okay? All right, uh, Declan, I'm going to ask you, comment ça va? Ça va bon. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a fine looking group of avatars there. If we look over on the board, I uh, just want to point out that when we did week six, and by the way, if you, I'm using my laser pointer, so if you look over at the board where I'm pointing to, semaine six, that of course means uh, week six, all right? So jour is day, and week is semaine. So we ask ça va, and moi, uh, ça va, you, you're supposed to respond in there. And aujourd'hui, and of course when you're talking about today, you have jour in there, because jour, of course, is day, right? So aujourd'hui, if that helps you to remember, uh, if you're at a restaurant and you ask for the soup du jour, okay, what does that mean? The soup of the day. That's it. So that also helps you to remember de, which is of. So soup du jour is the soup of jour, the day, okay? All right, so as we're looking at semaine set, and I know I'm going to forget to say this. I think I'm going to, I'm going to forget to remind you at the end of class, so I'm going to remind you now. If you look at week seven, Here's all the things to write down on your cloud. So you're going to have a very, very busy cloud. But let's just go through it. 
Um, actually, I think maybe what we need to do is return to this after we do the Telefrancais. Okay, let me just uh, pause that, share my screen. Here we go. 15, 10, 5, 0. Commençons. C'est l'heure. Allô? Bonjour. Jacques? Sophie? Où sont-ils? Où sont-ils? Where are they? Who would like to answer that? Do In the like... forest? <laughs> oui. Et ils sont perdus dans la forêt. N'est-ce pas? Je ne sais pas. Right? They are lost in the yeah. forest. Okay, here we go. Oh, zut! Oh, ils sont... Zut! And I haven't done this with the other classes, but I'm going to do this with you. That's one of the most favorite words in French, is zut. Because how many of you ever say, oh, darn, or heck, or golly gee whiz, when something happens? In French, they don't say that. They don't say, it, oh, darn. Does it, mean, does it mean, oh, shoot? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, shoot. But <laughs> they say, zut. So, so if your microphone isn't working, you know, or you make a mistake and you leave it on, you can go, oh, zut. Okay? Z-U-T. All right, here we go. Ils sont. There we go. They are. There's the etra verb with they. They are lost. Perdu. Perdu. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Oh, what are we going to do? Idée. Les objets perdus. And any day. Let's just go back to that. Is that not a cognate or what? Right? So an we idea? Need to, yeah, an idea. Very, very easy to see. Thank you, Marcus. It's good to see that you're here. Uh, I'm just going to continue on. Marcus, you can hear everything okay? Yep, I oh, can see. Great, thank you. Les objets perdus. Les objets perdus. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What's the? What, what is this place with this guy? And the lost sign objects. It. Yeah, it's lost objects, and we call it lost and found. Lost and found. So their lost and found is called objet perdu. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Excusez-moi, mais c'est important. Excusez-moi. Boy, is that a cognate? Excusez-moi. Yeah, excuse me. And they say, c'est important. There's another cognate. It's important, right? Les enfants sont perdus. Les enfants. Qu'est-ce que c'est enfant? Anyone? Children. That's it. Children. Yeah, now we, in English, of course, we usually call infants, infants. right, are really young children. But uh, enfant is just, re in French, refers to all children, okay? So, vous êtes, you are mon enfant dans, dans ma, ma class, right? In my class, my children in my class. Les enfants sont perdus. Oui. Enfants oh là là. Perdus. Comment s'appelle-t-il? Le garçon s'appelle... So, they asked who they were, and he says, the boy, he's called Jacques. Jacques. Le garçon s'appelle Jacques. Jacques. Oui. Un ourson. Un ours à bear. Un sac en papier. Un oh, paper sac. Oh, avec papier. des fruits. Oh là 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 là. là. Euh, oh, un sifflet. Un Jacques. Non, pas ici. Comment s'appelle l'autre enfant? Who's La fille s'appelle Sophie. Enfant. Une Sophie. Oui. Une tuque, une raquette de tennis. There's another cognate. Oh, raquette. Une poupée. Une oh, poupée. Mais That's une Sophie. That's a doll. Je regrette. Poupée. Elle n'est pas ici. Je regrette. So he regrets. Uh, that's another call. Hello. Hello. Salut. Now you guys are all singing this with your mics on. Right? I can tell. Écoute, Jacques, c'est sérieux. 
Écoute, Jacques. Listen, Jacques. C'est sérieux. And there's another cognate. Serious. Okay? Sérieux. Nous sommes perdus. Nous sommes, we are Je lost. Sais. I know. Je sais. C'est de ta faute, toi. Uh, uh. Ma faute? Oui. C'est de... What is she saying to him? Anyway. It's all your fault. That's it. We oui, say it is of your fault, right? So all of this that we're lost, and she's going to blame him because he lost the the map. C'est ta faute. Où est la carte? Où est la carte? Where Où sont the les sandwiches? Ils sont perdus aussi. And of course he says, where's the sandwiches? Regarde là! Oh! C'est un anard! Oui, c'est un anard au parachute! Un anard! Un anard! Nous voici! Nous voici! Ah! Voilà Jacques! Voilà Sophie! Jacques! Sophie! Me voici! Me voici! Me voici! See, see me? Je viens! I'm coming! Wow, Je viens! Wow, nous sommes sauvés! Okay, so he says, a journal. He's very pleased that there's no big crows flying around for reasons which we are familiar with. Okay, uh, so he's thinking there's no danger, but then he gets hit with a, 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 a pièce de papier. A piece of paper and he calls it a journal how many of you guys keep um keep a journal anyone yeah me okay so you guys write and me and how often do you write in a journal every day every day wait uh what's another name for uh, a journal like that where you write something in it every day a diary yeah a diary well, this is, it's, and that's what a newspaper is. It's kind of a daily diary of the news, correct? And there's a section in there. I, I, I always looked forward to it. You're going to see the word le band dessiné. So that's made up of two words. One, if you've got a band-aid, if you make a shape of a band-aid with your fingers, it's like that, right? So it's like a strip, a band-aid, right? And if you're, uh, if you're drawing a comic, it's a comic strip, right? It's like a band of uh, pictures put together. Dessiné, it, there's another, that's an ER verb. Dessiné is to draw, okay? So I've added that onto the board already. But les bandes dessiné are comic strips, okay? Here we go. Ah, regardez les bandes dessinées. Et maintenant, continuons. Les aventures de Monsieur Pourquoi, super détective. Le grand crime, épisode 4. Voici le bureau de Monsieur Pourquoi. Vous n'êtes pas super détective, vous êtes super... Ok, hands up, who wants to translate that for us? You are not a super detective. You are a super idiot. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. All right. You guys are reading French already. That's just amazing. You guys are super. Super idiot. Pourquoi? And he says, why? Parce que l'argent n'est pas ici. Parce que is because. Parce que. And l'argent is talking about the money. Remember... In, in our culture, when we talk about the, the color of money, we usually say it's green. And that's because American bills are all, what color? Green. Yeah, they're all green, right? So the color of money is green. That's very sort of American, right? Uh, but in France, that still traditionally goes back to the color of money is silver because that's what they use to pay. Uh, for things. Okay, Sparska, the money is not here. Is not easy here. All right, let me go. Je m'excuse, madame. Oh, Voici votre sac. Oh, see, here's your bag. Oh, no! 
All right, who wants to translate that? Um, don't touch my bag. Yes, don't touch my bag. Don't touch. All right. Ne touchez pas à mon sac. Ne touchez pas. Voilà l'argent. C'est vrai. Vous êtes la criminelle. Voilà. Here's the money. It's true. You are the criminal. Okay, so she's the one who stole the money. Hey, vous êtes la criminelle. Vite. Quickly. Arrêtez la criminelle. Arrest the criminal. Et voici un autre triomphe spectaculaire pour Monsieur Pourquoi. Spectacular triumph for Monsieur Pourquoi. Fine. End. The end. Hurra! Pour Anana! Bonjour, Anana! Uh, Zach, can I ask you to turn your mic off, please? Sure. Thank you. Oui, c'est moi. La forêt est très dangereuse, n'est-ce pas? Vous êtes perdu? Oh. Oui, nous sommes perdus. Et maintenant, toi, tu es perdu aussi. Comment? He's, he's been having a, just a little bit of fun. Do you think he's just rubbing it in? Just a little bit? Okay. About the forest. They didn't want him to come because it was too dangerous for him. But they're the ones that are lost. And uh, Sophie's very quick to point out that now that he's there, he is also lost. Oh, moi, je suis perdu. Mais oui, parce que la carte est perdue. Tu as une carte? Non, je n'ai pas de carte. Et les sandwichs sont perdus aussi. Tu as des sandwichs? Okay, and of course, Jack's relatively unconcerned about the map. He would rather have sandwiches, I think. Non, je n'ai pas de sandwich. Oh, où est la carte? Où sont les sandwichs? Pardon, la carte est perdue. Les sandwichs sont perdus. Ici, c'est les objets perdus. Je vais chercher. I'm going to Une chaussure de haut oh, yes. Or search. So, Chercher Une boîte is to search. Oh, ah, surprise! Une brosse à dents pour un éléphant. Mais une carte des sandwichs, je regrette. Ils ne sont pas ici. Ils ne sont pas. Où sont les enfants? Here. Où est Anana? La forêt est trop dangereuse. Et il fait mauvais. Uh, je vais... And she says... La forêt est très dangereux. Okay, so that's a good reason to find them. And she says, il fait mauvais. So when we talk about il fait, we're talking about the weather. So the weather's getting bad. Mauvais. Okay, the weather's changing for the worse. So she says, I am going to. So from the verb aller, to go. Je vais regarder, to look for. I'm going to look for. Look. Where? Partout. Everywhere. Okay, so you remember how to, uh, we said, uh, bonjour tout le monde, we're talking about all the world. So when we say partout, we mean like everywhere. Regardez partout. Allons, courage mes amis, j'ai une idée. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Je vais chanter une chanson. Okay, so there was a couple cognates there. Uh, courageux, uh, obviously has to do with courage. And he says, uh, I'm going to sing. He has an idea. He's going to sing, chant. Je chante, from chanter to sing, a chanson. And of course, what's he going to sing? He's going to sing a song. So, chanson. De courage. Bravo, courage. une chanson de courage, une chanson de courage. Quand je suis perdu dans la forêt, je n'ai pas peur. Non, je suis courageux. So when I'm lost in the forest, am I afraid? Je suis peur. 
No, je suis courageux. No, I'm brave. Interesting story. Very quickly, the French Revolution. Um, the the the, the uh, there was a desperate situation in France, and uh, the armies of France were being beaten on every front, and they were retreating back to Paris. And on the way back, um, one of the soldiers heard a shepherd boy who was playing his flute. He was playing a song. And the, the soldier was familiar with that song, with that melody, and put some words of courage to that song and began to sing it. And as he sang it, others joined in. And soon the whole army was singing about the song of courage. Now, this was an army that was retreating towards Paris, right? <laughs> so it seems a bit inconsistent that they'd be singing a song about courage. And sure enough, they began to turn around. And the whole army turned around, singing this song, and marched back into battle and beat their enemy. And not only did they win back all of France, but they took over pretty much all of Europe, with the exception of Russia and England, and went as far as Egypt. They took over Turkey and Greece and, and Italy. I mean, it's just amazing. It all started with a song, a song of courage. Here we go. Courage, courage, nous pas we don't have fear. With courage, nous we courageux. are brave, courageous. Well, when a tiger gives me his paw, when I'm face to face, eye to eye with a bear, when a snake sticks out his tongue, I'm not afraid. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm brave. When a monkey pulls my hair. When a bird says hello. I'm not afraid. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm courageux. Courage, courage. Nous n'avons pas peur. Avec du courage, nous sommes courageux. Bravo! C'est superbe cette chanson. Oui. Mais nous sommes encore perdus. C'est vrai. But we're still on secours, lost. Secours, on secours, secours, à l'aide, à l'aide. Attention, courage. Quelqu'un va nous trouver. J'en okay. suis sûr. Quelqu'un va nous There's trouver. There's something to do. Attention. Who's going to find Un us? test. So. Qui va vous trouver? Who a is going to find squelette. us? B. Monsieur Pourquoi? C'est pilote. Et la bonne réponse est. The best response is. Si. <laughs> Pas si. 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 Oui. Si. Si. There we go. Si. Pilote. Je vais vous trouver. Pilote. Je veux. I will Bienvenue, find pilote. You. Tu as une carte? Bien sûr. J'ai une you carte. Have a map? Oui, j'ai. Où est l'avion? Là-bas. Venez vite. Yeah. Il you have fait a plane? mauvais. It's over here. Oui. Hurry. Il fait mauvais. The weather's getting bad. Dépêchons-nous. J'ai la carte. Suivez-moi. Attention, attention. 20 secondes. Où est l'avion? Second. 20 seconds. Ah, bon. L'avion arrive. 10 secondes. Vite! L'avion arrive. Well, there's another ER verb, right? Arrive. Jacques, où es-tu? Où es-tu? Où es-tu? Je mange un sandwich. Wouldn't you know it? Jacques eating a sandwich. Ah. Au revoir! Hold it. Okay. All right. So, you guys now should be able to repeat back that entire uh, episode of Telefrancais and, and be able to translate that. And part of that uh, becomes your assignment on the board over here. So let's quickly go through this before we head off to the building center. Semaine 7, 
Qu'est-ce que c'est semaine again? Week seven. Week. Okay. You know what? I would like everybody to put on there now that the video's over. If you could put on your your video, that would be great. Thank you. Good, because I want to make sure that you're paying uh, attention over the next 20 minutes. It's, there's a lot to learn, so I want to make sure that you're here with me and paying attention. All right, so as we go over this board, it, the first thing is quand je suis perdu, when I am lost. Je n'ai pas peur, I don't have fear. Fear, that's right. I am courageous. Courageous, yeah. Je suis courageux. Maintenant, okay, so that's kind of a new word we haven't said a lot. Maintenant is now. So, maintenant, nous sommes, we are, ici. Qu'est-ce que c'est ici? Here? Yes, here. Right now, we are here dans l'école. And we could say, in the school, or we could say the class, right? But we're in the school. Et moi, j'habite, and now this is where it becomes kind of important. If you notice, at the top left-hand corner of your screen, you'll see what says mon français, uh, and, and it should say, for me it says at um, 5S34W. Do you see that, you guys? Yes. Everybody see that? That's the location yes. we're in. It's kind of like a um, a location thing for in the world. And my address of my house is at 47 South 4 West. So we don't have numbers on our houses, but we have locations where they are. So moi, moi, j'habite, I live at, and there's my, my house number. Now you guys are going to have to put the location of your house in your sign, in your cloud. Où habites-tu? Where do you live aujourd'hui? Okay, so if you get all of that in your cloud and understand it, then you're doing well, okay? You're like keeping up with what we, we want you to understand for your French. All right, so we're not gonna go and do that right now. You're gonna do that after class, okay? And you need it done by, you know, next Friday because I'm gonna be going around and taking pictures it'll be actually next by next Wednesday would be great because I take pictures of your signs and that's part of your assignment it's just your participation level all right so everybody has got me as a contact I would hope by now you've if you haven't right clicked on me by now make sure you right click on me at the front of the class now because I'm taking off someplace and I'm gonna ask you to join me all right so I'm heading off to the French Building School. So if you guys could join me there, please. All right, now in this, in this Building School. How do I go to my contacts? Uh, it's well, Lola. Lola, it's, it's in your tabs. And if you're not seeing your tabs on the left-hand side, you need to go to Show on your menu to show tabs. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then go to your contacts and join me or or anyone else. Mr. Join Gordon, us. I'm here. Wonderful. Good. Okay, well, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to How do I join you? Well, you right click on my name in your contacts and just go join. Okay. Now here's the wonderful thing. You see all these steps here? Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. That's all you need to know for today. Pretty much all you need to know. So let's go through it very quickly. And again, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen because I think that's probably the quickest way for you to see everything that I'm seeing. Okay. So you're there, but you should be looking on my screen, on the screen that I'm sharing. And if you see what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this water cooler. And what happens is as soon as I click on the water cooler, this object properties box comes up. Okay, so that's from right clicking. Now here's what's really, really important is where you see it says model.
The model name of this is BS, and that's probably the initials of the person who made this. And he made a bunch of other things, or she did. Uh, and the uh, and he's entitled it W Cool for Water Cooler One. Okay. Now that's really really important to see. All right. Uh, now once I've clicked on that object, here's the other thing: is I have a menu that's up above here. And what I can do is, like, if you look from the third from the left, I can go and I can delete it second from the left if I want to when I've highlighted it or I can duplicate it and what you guys are all going to need to do is see about duplicating it and it, uh, there's now a second one that's behind there and I'm using my arrow keys to move it out do you see it there yeah. okay so I've moved it out and I'm using my arrow keys but I can also go up here yeah. and use these ones too so you can use these uh, these key, these icons up here to move left, to move right, to move up, to move down. And so now that I've made this one mine, the other I'm going to move it out into the middle of the field. So let's back up a little bit. I'm going to move it out to some place. Here we go. I'm going to click on it and move it to an open spot someplace. Okay, so nobody should really be moving around in there because you're you're just watching the screen. Uh, and it's important that you do. Okay, Declan, I'm going to ask you to get off the mover, okay, for now. All right, so watch very closely because what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. And instead of the model being a water cooler, I'm going to change it to a cow egg. Now, I happen to know that that's the name of this model. There it is. I now have a cow instead of a water cooler. <laughs> and watch this. If I right click on it and I duplicate it, it moves it just a little bit back, but one click of my but um, my um, arrow keys and I can move my up button to move it up. And if I hold down the shift key, I can move it just a little bit that way, a little bit this way. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change it from being a cow A, my duplicate, to being a cow B. So I have a different cow. And now I've got something a little bit like Cirque du Cow going on. If any of you have ever been to Cirque du Soleil. And of course I'm going to go with cow C this time. And there we go. And what you guys are going to be able to do is you're going to be able to go to Earwax World or you're going to be able to go to uh, the mall that's here and pick out objects that you like. Okay, so if you've got an object that you like, you right click on it and you copy down the model number. You might want to copy it like this, copy it and paste it to a Word document or, or a Google Doc or something like that so you've got it handy and you know what it is, right? Okay, and again, I'm going to go over to here, and if I want to get rid of that top cow, or let's just do the middle cow, just to be f funny, I'm going to delete it, and there we go. Now we've got a flying super cow. Okay, so what I'd like you guys all to do is I'd like you guys to do that. Copy one of the water coolers, move it out someplace, and change it to a cow. And we're going to have a herd of cows out here before long. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Golden? Yes? Um, can you please tell me how to make it mine? Like, how to like make it so that no one else can take it? Uh, well, it, it is yours. Once you create yours, nobody else can... Once you create your duplicate, nobody else can do anything to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so well, say for um, the signs that are going to be in front of your houses... For instance, you can't do anything to those signs. You're going to oh. have to duplicate those signs. Um, okay? Now, and then you can oh. write on those signs. I look how one. So now what do I do? Do I push duplicate or do I push enter or what? Well, once you've once you've duplicated your water cooler and you've moved it out uh, and then you've changed the name from water cooler to cow, you are ready to go. Uh, for, uh, look for a house. Okay. Um, so, Monsieur Holden. Yes. Um, it's not letting me right click the cooler. Okay. Well, I think probably at this point, 
why don't you guys just all follow me at this point? Because we're kind of a little bit short on time. I haven't made my Wait. cow yet. What do I do with my R2-D2 I just made? Well, that's okay. You can either delete it or um, or just leave but, it for now. I'll clean this up later. But if you guys would follow me out. I'm really confused, though. I haven't made my cow, have I? That's okay. okay. Whether you have or you haven't, that's okay. Just follow me out to the doorway of this building school here, and I want you to follow me through through the building. We're going to go right out through the other side, and I'm going to show you what you're looking for. Is you're looking for signs that say uh, Avondra for, it's for sale. Okay, so please follow me down the street, and if you've already lost me, you don't know where I am. Of course, you can join me. Now here, here we'll stop right here because this is Eli's house, and of course uh, you see that there's a, a Vons or for sale sign, and he's duplicated that and made another sign, and then he's able to go into the uh, the description box and change it from Avondra to Eli. So I'm going to get rid of. He can't do this, but I can. I'm going to get rid of those Avondra signs. Okay, so let's go look for another one that says Avondra. And we'll have a volunteer take that house. All of our student houses are on those two streets. So you guys, if you look on the right hand side, uh, there is a link to the Secord Mall on your web browser. And if you don't see that, then just simply join me, okay? Mr. Gord. Yes. This is Eve. It every time I try to change my sign, it says you're only allowed to change your own property. That's right, because you're trying to change somebody else's. So you need what you need to do is right click on that sign. You need to duplicate it, move it out, move it someplace else on the yard, and then that's the sign that you change. I'm Mr. Holden. Hello. What we're going into when when we begin to build our houses, how do we create new objects without duplicating and changing others? Well, that's that's what I'm going to show you, okay? Oh, okay, great. That's why we're going to the mall. So if you guys want to come into the mall, okay, and let's maybe a good place to start is maybe the pet store. So let's give you guys all, uh, no, let's go down to the furniture. Are you able to invite me? It, yeah, Lola. me too. Okay. Uh, you have to tell me who it is. It's Lola. Lola and Zach. Okay. Lola and Zach. Okay, so Lola, here comes your invite. And Zach, here comes your invite. Thanks. There Mr. Go. Gordon, it's still not letting me do anything. I did what you said, but it's not working. Okay, so you, what you might want to do is just, again, take down the location. Write down the location where your house is. Send me a telegram, and I'll go back later, okay, and and uh, change the name on the sign for you. But it's probably just that you've got a bad connection, and you need to go out and come back in. But don't do that right now. Join me right now, okay? Okay. Okay, so um, here I am at the furniture place, and we're going to go inside the furniture place. And I see there, um, there's a, a table, okay? So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the table that I like and it says RB glass table. Okay, so that's what I want to uh, highlight and copy is that name of that model. So the model name and then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your house and you're going to. Uh, so I've just done that. So uh, let me do it again. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to my house, and I'm gonna show. I'm gonna do put that table in my front room. Okay, so you guys can all watch this. All right, so I'm gonna teleport. Mr. Gord, it's Eve. Um, yep. I don't know how how to tell where my what my address is. Well, Eve, it's it's at the top left-hand corner of your 3DU screen. 
where it says, right now, the address that I'm at is 12 South, 10 East. Okay, you need to write down what, what yours says. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go to the tabs. I'm going to go to my teleports. I'm going to go back to my, my house. Gord's French house. There we go. All right, so everyone's going to have to join me again. Sorry about that. Is everybody is everybody at my place? Yes. Yep. Okay, you'll see a sign that says La Maison de Monsieur Holden. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on that sign. I'm going to duplicate it and move it out. So here we go. And, and I, as I click off of it, you'll see the second sign there, right? So now what I'm going to do, that sign is mine, all right? So I can do with it whatever I want. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go into the model number and I'm going to paste the, the table thing, right? The, the model for the table. Click off on it. Okay, and you see what happened. I now have a table. So if I want, I can create another table if I want to. So I've got two tables. Lord, what if you want the furniture inside your house instead of outside? Well, of course you want it inside your house. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. I just want to show you it's a little bit crowded inside of a house. So I'm just creating it outside so that you can see it. Okay? So I've created that table, and I'm now going to use my buttons to move the table up and over. So I don't know if you see what you won't be able to see it, but I've got it at the front door now. All right, so I'm going to select it again. Make sure you select that, not the house, okay? Because you don't want to duplicate the house. So I've moved it straight through the door, and it's now inside the house. So if you guys want to come that inside the house. Gord. Yeah. I have a question. <coughs> Because at my lot, when I put a door on my house, it wouldn't let me walk through the door. So how do you get your well, door to it, let you Well, it might be open? a door that swings open. But, yeah, you probably don't. I wouldn't put doors in there. I, I would just be doing what I'm doing right now. Okay? okay. So you have it blocking your, your door, your house. So you might want to delete that. So you see, I've moved that table now into my front room and I can place it wherever I want in there okay now just one thing that you should remember and that is if your arrow keys are moving it too much like you want to move it just a little bit rather than a lot hold down your shift key and try moving it with your arrow keys and it'll move just a little bit and if you want even less movement hold select it then hold down your shift key then hold down your control key and try moving it now and it'll be just a little bit and I think Tobias I think I have you trapped in the table so you might have to join somebody else to get out of there because you're trapped okay so now here's here's the most important thing that you might possibly need to hear from me so everybody needs to be listening, okay? Have I got everyone's attention? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everyone yeah, needs fine. to listen to this. On your homework page, I have a video. Yeah. And that video is half an hour long, and it's this whole set of instructions. Okay? So it tells you everything you need to know about, um, about, about doing this. All right? So... Here's the only thing that I haven't shown you so far, and and that is this, is where uh, you, you can go to the mall and you can do your shopping. You can find things, other people's houses have got, so if you see something that your friend has that you really like, right click on it and take a note of the model name. But the main place where you get everything that you can imagine, there's tens of thousands of objects there, is Earwax World. So give me just a second here, and I'm going to take you to where all of that stuff is organized. So don't join me just quite yet. I'll need another invite. Mine crashed. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's Nathan, correct? Uh, no, this is Zach. Oh, Zach, I mean. That's what I meant. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to go into the object yard. So if you go to Earwax, there is a teleport to the object yard. Okay, so you guys can join me now. And when you join me, it would be a good idea for you to save this as a teleport. So go up to your teleports and go remember and go object uh, object yard. Um, Mr. Holden, yes. I already watched that video. Oh, good, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mean? Now, when you get into this object yard, probably a pretty good idea. Some of you are already having problems with overload with all the new objects. So uh, make sure that you go up to your visibility and reduce your visibility down as mm -hmm. low as you can, probably to 30 meters or 40 meters would be a good idea. M Mr. Holden, are yeah. you... It's Lola. Are you able to invite me again? Yes. Thank you for reminding me, Lola. You're welcome. I've I've got a really good forgetter in my between my ears. So, so same with you, Zach. I will be inviting you now. Thank you. Okay. So you guys should all now be uh, in front of these nice bright red signs with white writing on it. And if you want to go to where uh, urban exterior and stairs is you could click on that but I'm going to suggest that you go to where it says furnishings doors curtains so I'm going to use my laser pointer to point to it do you see where it is furnishings doors curtains right above the bottom right hand corner where it says Lego parts and people and spooky and medieval we try and keep the our world as realistic as possible so if you can click on that furnishings, doors, and curtains, please. Okay. And if you did that, you should be in the furnishings area where there's computers, there's beds. And again, it might take a little while for some of this stuff to come up because it's new to you. But you have everything imaginable to make your house as unique as possible uniquely yours hi grace um mr board or mr board um my um you know the little coffee box and you click on it and then you get the box and you copy the thing yeah um, it isn't working for me. When I go to it, everything's gray, and it isn't, like, letting me do the other thing. Okay. Okay, so you clicked on something. Now, you should know that everything that's here in this world, like, if you try and duplicate anything in this world, in here, you can't do it. You can't delete it. You can't duplicate it. You can't move it. You can't do anything. It's not yours. All you can do is right-click on it go into where the model is and it may just be um, if you selected something that has something in the action box and if you didn't copy what's in the action box oh as I well have... yeah then you'll get just a flag or or something gray oh, all right so I, so I be know. aware it might be a good idea for everyone right now to right click on something and if you right click on something you'll see the model name and you might see a description in there too. You may or may not. You guys are going to have to put descriptions, like in French, you're gonna to have to write the names of all your objects. You're gonna to have to find out what they are, put in the description. And then, I have to go, I have another class. So yes, that's okay. I to totally understand. Okay, okay. Bye, bye for now. Okay, and if, if it's not copying properly, then maybe what you want to do is try something else. Try something else that will. Um, Mr. Holden. Yeah. How how am I supposed to copy it? Well, what you well what you can do is you can highlight the object name. Okay. Right. So in your box, you'll see the model, and right beside model, there's a box. Yeah. Uh, highlight what's in that box. And just right click on it and go say copy right and then you can okay. paste that to a document or you can go back to where your house is 
and then uh, duplicate your sign. All right, change the sign model name, um, paste in your own, the, the new one, and then it will become that object. Okay, so if you have to go, remember that there is that video that's in your homework page for you to watch. Thank <laughs> you.